Oh no. Thing. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back to our um, next edition of This Is My Brave. Um, we are spending time getting to know the cast members. Our spring 2020 um, has been delayed, but um, we are forging through in the fall and putting these cast members out there for all of you to see. So I'm joined this evening by um, two people associated with our Hampton Roads, Virginia cast. I have producer Lauren Hope and cast member Kim Stumbo with us this evening. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And, um, you know, it's been a funny year and um, we were set to have um, the Hampton Roads show, um, said to have all of you in the cast take the stage in April. And we had to kind of put a pause on that because of um, this crummy pandemic. And um, we had to regroup a couple times and we finally landed on the big idea of this is my Brave 2020 stories from home. So we will be streaming our shows virtually this fall. Um, Hampton Roads is scheduled to take place on the 25th of October. And we're asking all of our cast members to produce um, a piece, the piece that they were gonna do on our stage but they're gonna produce it at home on their phones, their cameras, and send it in to us. We're gonna pack, package it up nicely and put it out on the 25th of October. It's gonna be a really great event. And so um, we wanted to talk to you, Kim, tonight just about um, what it's been like um, getting ready to be on our stage and then having to delay. So let's just start first with, um, with how you heard about This Is My Brave and um, like, what was that like deciding to come out for the show? So I was lucky enough to um, know Lauren prior to This Is My Brave. Um, she did this wonderful uh, program herself called Storytellers. And I happen to have participated in that because I'm an individual living with a disability. Yeah. Um, so I have shared my story related to that and being a mom and using um, my superpowers, which is my limb difference, to help others um, just, you know, bring awareness and acceptance to those with disabilities. So I was already doing those kinds of topics. Um, uh, and Lauren, like, had brought up that uh, there's this program called This Is My Brave. And so I started, you know, looking into it and decided that this was something that I had not addressed, that I did not address at all during any of my prior speaking engagements. It was not a topic that I addressed at all. My mental health, my struggles, all those things were separate from what I talked about when it came to disability awareness and acceptance and everything. Um, I guess I wasn't ready to discuss the struggles on that way. Like I talked about bullying, I talked about things like that, hard things, but not my own mental health struggles. So I decided to, to join or audition at least and see maybe, let's see if I can do this part. The harder part is what I feel like. Like I, I've dealt with my limb difference my entire life. Um, it's something that's just part of me that I'm comfortable with, um, that I've accepted um, more so over the past few years. But um, my mental health struggles, you know, I think for everybody is something that we struggle with as far as the stigmas that are associated with it and everything. And if people see you as a positive person, they don't necessarily want to know the struggle part. Mm -hmm. So I decided that to be more of an influence, I need to share the other side, the struggle side, and show like the mom side, like the things that we deal with as mothers. Like it's not just because of my limb difference that I had my mental health issues. It was just life, just like any other adult you know, has dealt with. You know what's so, so interesting? <clears throat> so many of our cast members have said just what you said, that this was a part of their life they had not shared publicly and that This Is My Brave was the push to get them to share it because they saw the power in that. So I think that's really interesting. You're like the third person to say that. Yeah, there's just a commonality, I feel like, you know, like as we were sharing our stories with each other, the cast members, you know, like you hear all the stories and you're like, I've been there. I felt the same way. Like my struggle might not be exactly the same, but there is that thread. There's that one thread that connects everybody. 
So it's all, it's always nice to hear that. Like, and just that, that confirmation right there, Lauren, that was great, you know, that we're all still connected, you know, through all this. So you went to, you were cast in the show um, and, um, and then you went to a cast party and you got to meet the other people that had been cast in the show. What was that like? I did. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Like, I got dressed up. I felt all like cool walking in. I was like, cool, we're going to be in the show. Like, I haven't done, like, as I was thinking of, like, theater performance type stuff since high school. So I was like, wow, this is going to be fun. We're going to, you know, and we're going to hear everybody's stories, but it's like real life performance. It's not like portrayed, but yet we're still performing. We are on stage. We are sharing. We are doing something that a lot of people can't do or won't do, you know, because of you know, just, just the being in the spotlight. I'm like, what is the best way to put this? But being, being seen. Yeah. Um, so it was really great. I mean, getting to know people, um, you know, you end up finding out that you have like common connections with me and myself and another cast member, like um, have a connection outside of this is my brave. So it was kind of nice. It's like, oh, hey, we know so-and-so and whatnot and connecting, knowing the struggles um, hearing all the different stories, like I just said with Lauren, like we all, there's that thread that connects all of us, mm -hmm. you know, we've all been through something or experienced some specific event um, where we know what that person felt, you know, and that we've dealt with it, we've seen the dark, we've seen the light, we, you know, recovered, we've struggled, we've done all those things. So just the connection part is what I, I love and I thrive off of is human connection. Mm -hmm. So then you found out that the show was being canceled and, um, and then your human connection went probably, you know, <laughs> so tell me what that's been like, um, since all of this has come about. So it was, um, it was a hard hit to find out. Oh, okay. Well, first it was delayed. You know, I was like, when we didn't know what we were doing, okay, well, we're delaying it because we assume that the pandemic would, you know, calm down, you know, we can handle this and be done with it. And the real world will come back by the fall. And then it was just like, oh, well, now we're changing things into a different format. And oh, we can't see our castmates, we can't practice like we could and thinking that more time was going to give us more practice, but it, it wasn't in a way because I think we all kind of just kind of paused, like the world paused once everything kind of yeah. shut down. And we all just kind of went in our bubbles and mm -hmm. it was a struggle. Like I was sad because I had gotten excited to be, you know, able to share the story. Cause I, I was nervous, but once I performed my piece the first time, mm -hmm. um, I got the confirmation that I was struggling in my head with like, this isn't right. This isn't, this doesn't come off right. But once I found out that what I was saying actually meant something, and was coming about how I had wanted to express it, I felt like, okay, I need to share this. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, well, now I can't share this. Or are we going to share it in the back and forth? And, uh -huh. you know, our whole world has been, it's like, what do we do? Do we do this? Do we do that? Are we opening? Are we not opening? Like, every the world right now is so back and forth. It was also tough because we were only, like, a month out. Exactly. We were a month out. It was so close and I think end of March I was it was like the the pandemic was not like yet a pandemic and it was in my peripheral and I remember going to the grocery store and seeing the bare shelves that's when it became real for me that this was going to be a big life event because we live in Hampton Roads where there are hurricanes I've never even seen people prepare like that for a hurricane <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. I was like oh god this is something then um and that was it was hard. So I get it. And, and it was even harder because we were literally only like a month out. So yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. Kim, what is the piece? Um, what type of piece are you going to be doing for the show? I don't know if there's a correct uh, term for it, but I guess it's like prose. Like if I go back to high school, I think about, you know, I was on the debate team. I knew there was prose, poetry, all this stuff. It's not poetry, but it's just a spoken word piece. Um, where I share um, feelings, thoughts that were in my head, events that happened, just processing everything based on um, 
the mental health uh, issues that I had, that I've experienced, um, which are anxiety, depression, and postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. I, I broke it up just because that's the medical person in me, because I'm a medical professional, and wanted to have each one represented separately, but all cohesive. So it's just, it's just a spoken word piece, and that's it. I don't sing. I, if I that's it. okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, she and I are very similar in that we're very girly. Um, Kim is big into makeup and fashion, and so that's your, that's your extra talent, girl. <laughs> So um, I just heard you say that you, you feel passionate, that you, you want the story out there and you want to be able to help others with your story. So it's, it's not the stage, um, but the stories from home, I think, are going to help us accomplish that. We can't go a whole year not sharing stories. So I'm so grateful that you are planning to do that and excited to do that. And you see the value in that. So um, uh, really quick before we wrap up, a couple things I wanted to ask you about. I love that you've inked up your arm there. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get kind of a shot of it. Um, oh, wow, but right. it's a yes. lot. Of speed, but let's see, I can read you what it says. <laughs> But it says, she made broken look beautiful and strong look invincible. She walked with the universe on her shoulders as if it were a pair of wings. Wow. So, so um, I got this um, done a few weeks ago. Um, for me, tattooing this arm, my limb different arm, is a very big statement. It's something that I have come uh, not to terms with because I've lived my whole life with my arm, um, but come to the acceptance of the looks, the stares, and anything everywhere. Like all day, every day, I would get looked at differently anyways. Let's put something beautiful on here that actually means something so much more mm -hmm. for me. And I know big pieces of tattoo artwork are gonna get stared at anyways. So for me, it was a huge step to tattoo this big, ginormous piece, which I'm getting it colored, so it's not finished. <laughs> oh, okay. To bring even more attention to something that I now am finding more acceptance, more pride, and more comfort in um, just as being myself and everything. I love how bold you are. You just, like, that's what I think of when I think of Kim. I think of boldness and courageousness. And um, yeah, just every time I see your stories and everything, I'm just like, man, like, she's just owning who she is. And I just want you to know that's incredibly inspiring to so many people. Thank so. you. Thank you so it's much. It's the beauty of aging, isn't it? Like there's so much we yeah. hate about aging, but there's so much about like, uh, why did I carry that for so long? Let's just let go of that for goodness sakes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so last thing your, uh, Lauren was saying, is it a book? It is. It is a um, comic style children's book. Comic style. Um, okay, yes. Go yes. tell us about that. <laughs> So I published the book. Um, it's been two years now. It's called The Adventures of the One-Arm Wonder Mom. And it's where I share my story of growing up with a limb difference um, and then transitioning into motherhood and everything and shares the stories of me and my children. Each one of them has their own superpower. Mine is my arm, but my oldest son has ADHD. Uh, my middle son is actually legally blind in his right eye, so he wears glasses full time. Um, and my youngest son was a 28-week preemie. So, um, you know, he is miraculous in his own right just by birth. Yeah. <laughs> so the shares, um, we talk about differences and how they are actually the things that make us stronger versus weaker. When somebody looks at us, oh, well, you're wearing glasses. Oh, you only have one hand. Let me pity you or anything. That's not what we go by. We actually do it as that's what makes us stronger and more unique. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know? I can't wait to see that. That's really exciting. Well, okay. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for sticking with us as we, um, as we kind of work with what we've got. We got to deal, deal with the hand we've been dealt. And so Stories from Home, especially from Hampton Roads, is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm really excited to see all of it come together on the 25th of October and to see you and your castmates um, share your stories of hope and, and inspire others. Um, that's what we need most right now. So thank you for 
sticking with us and, um, and enthusiastically doing that with us. And don't forget that you're always welcome on our stage whenever we're ready. I know Lauren's gonna keep Hampton Roads, this is my brave going for years to come. And so you will, um, as soon as we can get back on stage, we will would love to have you. And that's gonna be just an amazing day when it happens. I'm excited about it all, honestly. Yeah. Such a great, great thing, honestly. This is my brave, I think, just changes so many lives. Yeah, so. I agree, I agree. So thank you and um, have a great evening and we will see you very soon. All right, thank you. Thanks guys. Bye.